Does paying back the loan affect the growth of my policy? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. The Wealth Nation channel is all about teaching you how to own your own lifestyle through a concept called infinite banking. Now, if you haven't heard about infinite banking before, that's why you're on this channel. <laughs> because we are here to teach you all about financial freedom so that you can become your own source of financing and take control of the banking functions within your life. So uh, before we get started, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notifications bell so that you can be notified every single time we upload new videos. So let's get right into it, shall we? Yep, let's do it. Does paying back the loan affect the growth inside my policy? The answer is, well, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Where is the money coming from? The, is the money coming from your insurance policy or is it coming from the insurance company? Hmm. Well, if you said that it's coming from the insurance company, then no, it does not affect the growth inside your policy because you're not borrowing from your policy. Your policy is still there earning the compound interest every single year, mm -hmm. year after year, mm -hmm. even when you borrow money from the insurance company. Yep. It's kind of like, uh, let's say you have a, a savings account or a checking account mm -hmm. and then you borrow money from the bank. Does paying back that loan affect the growth inside your personal checking account or savings account? Nope. The answer is no. Mm -hmm. So the same exact thing works within the insurance industry, within the insurance policy. Yeah. You're not borrowing from your specific insurance policy. Mm -hmm. You're using your policy as collateral to borrow from the insurance company. Mm -hmm. So when, whether or not you borrow the money or you leave it there, you're not earning any more interest by paying it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's really easy to get confused yes. with this process because it's a new way of thinking. So again, when you get a loan from your policy, you are getting a loan from the insurance company. You're using their funds mm -hmm. and you're essentially just borrowing from their general pool of funds that they have available. You're not even touching your policy like Darius said. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind because you're just paying them their money back. And essentially as you start paying back that loan, you just have more collateral available because now less and less money is collateralized within your policy if that makes sense right so it's it's really simple once you just think about it I'm just giving the insurance company their money back and it doesn't affect how the cash value grows within my policy at all right so whether or not you pay that money back or you don't it doesn't affect the growth inside your policy mm -hmm. now the key to infinite banking is what you do with that money that you borrow. Yes. That's why we say it's so important to pay yourself back with interest because if you borrow that money from the bank you would pay them back principal and interest. Mm -hmm. If you borrow from the insurance company, you're going to take out the middleman and pay yourself back that principal and interest inside your separate checking account. Yeah. The middleman mean, meaning the bank. We're cutting the banks out of the equation and we're just utilizing our own insurance policy as our source of financing. Right. So instead of going to Wells Fargo or Chase and asking for loans, we're looking at our insurance policy and seeing how much money is available for me to utilize right now to accomplish the financial goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Exactly. And then all of that interest that, have, that would have been going to the bank is now sitting back within your policy or even within your own checkings account, just depending on how you're paying the loan back right you have options mm -hmm. absolutely now maybe with options you get a little confused that's why you have us here so if you have any questions make sure you comment on this video mm -hmm. or give us a call or send us an email yes yeah, we'll leave all of our contact information under the, the in the comment sections below just so that you know how to get in contact with us. But feel free. We understand that the infinite banking process can be a little confusing at times. Or it's just different. Yeah, just different. And <laughs> it's just getting used to it. We call it riding the backwards bicycle, basically. Um, so the whole point of us sharing this information with you is so that you can educate yourself and make sure that you're doing the best thing for you and your family. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Um, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notifications bell and like this video. And make sure you go out and have an amazing day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>